Dear Mother, I am writing to you concerning Father's health. As you know, he is a very proud man and not one to complain about his troubles. The other day I was surprised to find Father at the beer hall. He hardly ever drinks, but there he was, sucking down course with a friend. <laughs> ah, Silas, my son. Come and share a drink with your old man. <laughs> Baba, is everything all right with you? Of course, my son. Look at me. I am as strong as a bull. Oh, man, he has tysis in my... So, I don't have tysis. This is just a cold. How long have you had this cough? Just a few days. Zaki, my friend. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sure now you must be coughing your brains. I'm such a Sally. He has been like this for two weeks already. And he's getting worse. Two mm. weeks, Baba, is that true? Mm. <laughs> I went to the doctor many times. And I always, and especially this yearly examination that he used to give us. They say, no, it's nothing wrong with you. You were right, you were right, you were right, you were right. But I could feel I couldn't breathe much. I tell you, 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 Baba <laughs> As I walked him back to the hostel, I could tell something serious was wrong. He felt weak. His friends told me that he was sweating at night. And the cough. Seeing him like that frightened me, ma. He has always been so strong. Somehow, I managed to convince him to let me take him to the clinic the next morning. The doctor sent father for a chest x-ray while he did some other tests. He said I should have one too. Even though I felt fit and strong, I suddenly became worried. That's when I realized how difficult it must be for father. He tried to smile bravely, but I could see his fear. You short of bread. You're trying to breathe, but there's not more than that that's coming out and going in. You're running short of bread. You walk. If you walk slowly, you go. But if you're trying to walk a bit faster, you come to a point and say, whoop. I must stop now or otherwise I won't get better. Um, he can't walk from his car to five meters and he's without breath. Uh, he gets sick very easily. I mean, he picks up flu or, or bronchitis or anything very, very easily. So he's limited to what he's able to do, what he used to do. Um, yeah, he, I mean, even, even his appetite, his appetite's gone. And they battle to breathe. And I think what I said to you was they, you, you actually want to get out of your body and put your lungs into their body so that you can breathe for them because it's, it's such a hassle. Mr. Mtimpul, yes, the good news is that we know what's wrong with you. You, know, you remember from your last visit, we discovered that you have silicosis. What is that? 
You're probably more familiar with the term ectasis. Now, ectasis is a very old word. We don't use it anymore, but it was used to describe is silicosis. Silicosis is a disease, you know, caused by breathing in dust particles during mining. Not just any dust, but tiny particles of silica, so small they are invisible. These tiny particles are created by blasting, drilling, and moving rocks. When you breathe in, the particles in the air are so small that they go deep into the lungs and get trapped. No amount of coughing will get them out again. The dust creates lots of tiny lumps or scars in the lungs. The job of the lungs is to deliver air to our bodies. The place in the lungs that are scarred can no longer do this job. <laughs> So you can cure him, right? You'll give him some medicine to heal the scars. Once the scars are formed, there, there's no way to fix it. There is no cure for silicosis. I'm so, so sorry, Mr. Mtumkulu. And now I The test results also show that you've got TB, which is why you've been coughing so much. I have silicosis and TB. Uh, how? See, silicosis damages the cells in your lungs that protects you from getting a TB, so you can get the disease more easily. The good news is that TB is caused by a germ. I'll give you medication, and you'll have to spend some time in the hospital. But once you're finished with the medication, you should feel a lot better. But my lungs will still be weak and scarred from the silicosis. I'm afraid so. Yes. People with silicosis are also at increased risk of other diseases. The silicosis uh, lowers their defense to important diseases. Tuberculosis is probably the most important. So workers with silicosis are at increased risk of tuberculosis and when they get the tuberculosis on top of the silicosis, they won't be allowed to continue working. In the case of stage 2 silicosis, I mean, there are a number of things that we would follow. The first thing always is to seek employment on the mine, uh, generally that would then be on surface and of course out of any underground, underground area. And we would try and offer such people, given the availability, a career that is out, out of a dusty area so that there is no further deterioration. Secondly, if, if we can't do that, and of course pending discussions with the person together with the union, we then have a program which, which we put in, years many, uh, in place many years ago, which we, we term a medical exit process. Uh, and in that process, we'll go through with the employee where he is, where his health is, what's busy happening. And uh, in that sense, we, we exit the person with cash values. When we left the clinic, we did not speak. What was there to say? Even when the TB clears up, he will not be allowed to return to work because that is a policy. Going back to work underground is too much of a risk to his health now that his condition has progressed to stage two. Father's worst nightmare had come true. All the light was gone from his eyes. There was nothing to say that would bring him back. Look, uh, family, it's only the, the, me and the wife that's left in the house. All right. Uh, they, 
the children, I uh, know they don't like it that I got this. But we can't help. I can't do anything else. I can't pay, say, pay 100,000 rand and I'll get rid of it and I'll come right again. You don't get it. It's there, it's there, finish. It's tough. It's tough because you, you see he, he can't move. Uh, you know, you wonder how much longer have we got with him. Uh, you know, how, how do you m make him or, or not uh, uh, notice what's going on? You know, like ignore what's going on. Uh, how do you do it? You know, it's, it's not easy. It's just, we just carry on. We try and just ignore it. But the reality is there, how much longer is he going to be around for? And how much more is he going to suffer? That's the main thing. I need to hear it. 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 I need like in Samiti, Media na kama kuwe. Busi wa haki fufule wa, kubote na diba Media di sasu asasi le tat. Le no, ba kwa kubote le msaadia. Kusegele mto fanya jina, kusana di feeling zee zee kwa kanga, kwa mo, kemo mto fanya. Le na kiku kwa kina mat. Langa guys and talk about fast. Hagi pikele la hizi and talk about fast. Kifalua kimo. Kifalua kimo yangu kaka ya kupa na kaka. That's fully. Ndadi juu la kaka kile moto hicho kula nchi na 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 kipela kwa wakin kiti tipi mo na kiputi bomo kuto kuti mo na bo tili mo na kilo arikisa mo scrapiar kile kuhano kumsho mo kuto fa bana baje kato. Kwa yeye na kisa kwa na wakumuto muki bana le matao, gai tuaga la kwa. Kama ili hapa sukunda tulewa hana, ndege uka wakuli hasa sisi zuri ni mta taka tu. Nili ana ramuti nje la nini na kama lishoto sio sawa ya dina kwenye mbwa. Kama ili hapa huko, kwa nini na libde sisi ni mpaka lizi, lini na huko la huko haipa. Kuna epahami, kuna hivyo. Lava, sasa kuna le three days ba tili kwa malaspe kile epahami. Uko na kuele hara kila kasa, ushota pili sisi tayari njoa usabu ni peeni. Chaguo. Wanba tii baori, under count. Moyo watu ni asimu moyo tu utani yu mtoa wenye. There are a couple of elements that need to be put in place to tackle it properly. One obviously is education. Education of people and workers working underground and working in conditions where there is dust. Uh, they need to understand dust, they need to understand the consequence of dust, and then with that they obviously need to understand what needs to happen in a greater sense of preventative action. Second to that, you obviously need uh, firm management that would put programs and processes in place. Uh, and bring technology to the table as to how we can deal with dust and what needs to happen. And thirdly, you know, you do need your unions, your associations, your representatives of labour to work hard with you at this in ensuring that sufficient communication is continuously given to people. You must be worried that I will also get sick, but I need money even more now that father is not working. I have seen experienced miners who work and protect their health, there are ways of working healthier with the knowledge we have now. I promise you I will not allow my health and strength to be taken from me. We are working with the health and safety rep right up to management to keep the dust down, have better ventilation and stay safe. With all of us working together, we will make the mine a healthier place to work. <laughs>